This is Shelly's new three-phase energy monitor. It comes with three current transformers to measure the three phases on your property or installation. It also measures the three voltages, one on each phase. This gives excellent accuracy and additional information such as power factor. It stores a year's worth of data on the device and it can be downloaded from the device via a REST API. It's easy to install and connect to Home Assistant via MQTT or the REST API. My name's James and welcome to the channel. Videos about home automation and installation of electrical products. Let's dive in and check out the 3EM from Shelly. So we've got our three phase energy monitor right here. We're gonna check it out and see what's inside the box. So when we first open it, we find our instruction manual. It's um, in typical Shelly style with our uh, circuit diagrams and setup information. Today we're gonna to be installing ours just like this one here. So we've got the three um, current clamps for measuring the current on each of the three phases. And it has um, voltage coming from each of the three phases. So that means it's gonna get an accurate reading of exactly what the voltage is on each phase. It doesn't assume any voltages, which is really cool. And it recommends having a circuit breaker or a fuse here. And that's a good idea. You'd probably use a six amp one or a smaller one. And that's because it comes into the IC via a series of resistors and a voltage divider, and it measures the voltage directly. So there's no transformer in between. So that's why the, you need to have that protection just there. So I got, received three current clamps, which is what I was expecting, but it looks like you can actually have a fourth one to measure the neutral current. Uh, normally you wouldn't really need to have that measurement, but it says it's for detection of, of theft or energy leakage. So that's an option that you can have if you, if you wanted to have that measurement. So we'll just, um, we've got our current clamps that come in the box here and we have got the little device just here. And compared to a standard circuit breaker, it's a little bit smaller in size in most directions. And it's DIN rail mounted, so it clips onto a DIN rail. However, I've noticed that it looks like it's slightly wider than a standard module. So if you tighten the space, it's good to remember that it's gonna be a little bit wider than a standard module, and it's gonna take up a little bit more space. It's got the two indicator lights here, and one of them's a switch, probably a reset switch of some sort. We've got the pin, the headers here for flashing custom firmware onto it. And we've got our plugs here for the current transformers and our wiring over here to connect the phases into the device and also the relay that we can use to con control other things. So it's another really cool design by Shelly. Uh, looks, really, looks like it's going to be easy to install. Um, I like it. It's going to be good to use. I've got a few places where I'm going to use these. So these are the um, current transformers that came with it for measuring the current and they just come with a four pin plug only two of the pins are actually used and they plug in like so so it looks very easy to install let's have a look inside so this is inside the device and we see on the first layer we've got a non-isolated power supply 12 volt one and we've got our auxiliary relay just here and a 3.3 volts um, DC DC converter just here to run the ISCs. It's got two layers going on here, and in between there, it looks like there's a battery for the real time clock and an IC for the energy monitor chip. And on the back here, we've got our four ICs. We've got the memory for the ESP, we've got the ESP8266 and its crystal, we've got the real time clock IC just here and the energy monitor just there. An ADE7880. And on this side we've got our current clamps coming in. So we've got the little network to bring each um, current measurement in. And on this side you'll see the series resistors. So this measures each phase voltage. So it gets an accurate reading of what the um, current usage really is because it's getting um, the voltage directly fed into it. And because it doesn't pass through a transformer of any type, 
means it's not going to be the voltage isn't going to be out of phase although you do get phase shift on the current clamps but that can obviously be calibrated anyway that's how they it's been built and it looks very well made let's put it back together and install it and see how it goes so we've just plugged in our energy monitor we've turned it on we've come in and we've connected to the wi-fi access point it creates just here and we've browsed to the standard ip address that it, it sets up on that network and we've come into the uh the interface here for the shelly em3 and you can see we've got our three phases it's getting energy readings from we've got our voltages reactive power and our power factor so some of these um, power factors are actually um, pretty low but it's probably because the um, our wattage is low you'll notice that if i just flick on my lights in my garage you see quite um quite a quick jump up on this phase here so that's just the change in load and if i turn them off it comes back down again So I've just turned my oven on there and we've seen a jump up there that's the oven and we can see that now we've got that load the power factors um, pretty good at one it's perfect technically um, and our voltage of course has dropped down so you'll see there the importance of having the different voltage inputs um, you can see that this phase here and with a bit of load on it the voltage um, our voltage is at 240 241 and this one over here is at 247 so um, between phases voltages can vary quite a lot it can vary even more than that so um, it's good to see that shelly's got the three individual voltage readings coming into their, their new device so now we can just come down and we can set up and connect it to our wi-fi network So we've got it connected up to our Wi-Fi network. We're just going to do a firmware update. Okay, so I've upgraded the firmware on here and I've noticed that they've changed the uh, this value here. It was power in VA. It's now showing current. So that's just one little change that I've noticed. I'm sure there's probably some other little upgrades. They tend to upgrade it continuously and make it better bit by bit each time they do an upgrade and if you want to but if you want to get the data or the usage data for it, one of the channels all of the channels or individually for each channel you can click here to download the comma separated value file and then if we open up the file it'll have it'll store up to a year in here so if we just go down to the last few values we can take and look at this hour for an example so from here to here we have uh, five minute blocks of power usage so that's how many watts were used in that five minute block and if we look at the sum of these values it's 700 watts so that equates to 0.7 of a kilowatt hour or 0.7 of a, of a unit that an energy provider would normally charge you for so that's how the energy usage is provided now we could make a sensor in home assistant we simply need to get this file every five minutes and grab the second last value and we can use that in our um, home assistant set up to make a sensor for energy um, usage in kilowatt hours I've got a few graphs that I've set up just so we can see the output from our Shelly 3 EM um, I've just quickly set these up obviously there's a million different ways you could you could view the data and different things you can do with it uh, so basically I've just got up here the MQTT sensors which is the voltage for each phase the power factor for each phase now ideally you want to have a power factor of 0.8 or higher uh, as the power uh, usage is um, it gets lower sometimes power factor tends to get a bit poorer um, the most interesting graph was this one just here which just graphs each phase against each other over time uh, this is um, an MQTT sensor as well um, instantaneous power that's been put onto a graph now this is a three day graph this one here uh, I usually look at it as a 24-hour graph, but just to show you guys that, um, 
what sort of data we're getting. I've, I've extended it out over a longer period of time. And you can see here on the white phase, um, I had a we had a pretty hot day just here, and that was the air conditioner running for most of the day. Um, our red phase, we've got the pool pump on that phase just here. It was running all day. And um, on the blue phase, we've got, um, I haven't got a lot of devices running. Uh, on the white phase, we've got the fridge as well. So we can see um, the constant cycle of the fridge turning on, um, ticking over. So um, just here, I made I cooked dinner. So you can see the red phase um, peak up a bit. And um, I think the blue phase has got the induction cooktop. So that's here, there was some cooking that went on just here. We had lots of people over. So it's pretty cool to have a look at it and you can sort of see power trends and perhaps where areas where you can save some power. And um, I actually did that during the night. So I came around and I looked at um, what was ticking over at night time and turned off about 150 watts worth of things that I didn't need to have on. And then down here we've got the total power. So this is just these lines accumulated into one line graph just here and then down the bottom here i've just got a utility um, sensor um, and it's just accumulating the power usage for each day so we can see here that day with the air conditioner we used 102 units which is quite a bit of power to use in one day and so a bit less than the following days so let's flick over and have a look at our sensors so these first um, ones uh, the rest sensors and that that gets the comma separated value and downloads it and then it uses this template sensor to grab the last value the second last value turns it into a float divides it by a thousand and that gives you kilowatt hours um, it gets the updates every 300 seconds which is how often the Shelly updates it makes the update every five minutes so it gets that that fight that value um, for each phase and then here is a template sensor which adds them all together and then we use that sensor house power sensor in our utility sensor and that is what gives us this graph down here and these sensors here the MQTT ones the instantaneous power the instantaneous voltage and the instantaneous um, power factor. These are all um, the ones at the top just here. So that's all these ones here. And then the last one here, the template sensor, that adds together our instantaneous power and that creates this graph here, which is putting it all onto one line. So that's just um, some of the sensors. I'll put a link to the sensors in the description down below so if you want to grab them you can use them if you've got if you get your Shelly 3EM and you can you can quickly try it out without having to without having to mess around too much and okay the graph card I'm using is this one just here the mini graph card and you can download it from the home assistant community store um, if you want to tr use the same graphs that I've got just here in my home assistant setup well if you've got a three phase property or you have some three-phase equipment that you want to monitor the power usage on, then the Shelly 3EM is perfect for you. It's really convenient, the, the form factor, easy to install, easy to set up. The Shelly 3EM really fills a little niche that nothing else fills. I don't highly recommend it. I've got two already, and I'm sure I'll use more in the future. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please give us a like. If you want to see more videos about home automation and the installation of electrical products, please subscribe for more. Thanks. See you next time.